All right, guys. Functions and relations lesson two. This is the lesson I've done in class today with only two grade nines. I need to say that so you can know. But okay, nevertheless. Now, what is important here is that you must know the Cartesian plane. You must know where's quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. And you must know in quadrant one that both x and y are positive and that of course is the origin in quadrant two x is negative and y is positive in quadrant three x negative and y negative in quadrant four x positive and y negative it is important that you must take note of that because when you have to plot those points then you must understand exactly how it must be done so please make sure that you've done it also in grade eight, so you should be okay with that. All right, let's look at the example. Look at those points A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Look at A for instance. X is three and Y is four, and both are positive. So that means first quadrant, isn't it? Because X is three, there you are, and Y is four. Look at B x negative y positive so that should be second quadrant so x negative two and y positive four look at c both are negative so therefore it will have to be in the third quadrant where x is minus four and y is minus five same with this one this should be in the fourth quadrant b because x is positive four and y is negative four if you look at f I see x7 and y0. So that means f should be on the x axis. So there you are, on the x axis, right? g is x0 and y minus 6. So it should be on the y axis. And h minus 7, so x minus 7, y0 should be a point on the x axis. Make sure, guys, that you are aware of that. And that you can you are able to do that so that's cool and all of that just explains exactly what i just told you now so please read through all that theory it is exactly what i just told you very quickly they look at linear function remember the formula from grade eight y equals to mx plus c remember m is the gradient and c is the y intercept m is three and c is one or not only three you can also say three over one minus two over one and one over one so i'm sure you understand all of that so that shouldn't be a problem look at the example five if i ask you to sketch a graph then there's different ways of doing it you can choose all those points for x substitute into the equation and you'll get all those points for y then you plot minus 3 and minus 10 for instance right x minus 3 and minus 10 there you are plot minus 2 and minus 8 and that's how you can draw the graph but that takes a bit long so there is a shorter way of doing it instead of using the text you we use what we call dual intercept now by that i mean that you only work out the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Now that is quite easy. X-intercept is there where y is zero. So let's see where they are. Y is zero, so therefore the x-intercept is two. The y-intercept is there where x is now zero. So if x is zero there, then you get a minus four. So those two points, this one here and this one here, you can also use to draw a graph. We call it the dual intercept method. Now, in questions example six, you must use now this dual intercept method. So you must let y, to find the y intercept, let x be zero. To find the x intercept, let y be zero. And if you do it here, there you are. If x is zero, y is minus four. So there you are. If y is zero, x is two. And that's all you need to draw the graph. 
So the dual intercept method is actually easier. Same with this one. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, if x, if your, your m is positive, the graph will lie in that direction from left to right. And of course, like this one, if m is negative, the graph will lie from left to right. So it's a matter of the sign. Please take note of that. Right, so again, you can use those three points to plot the graph, or you can use the dual intercept. It doesn't matter. You'll get exactly the same answer. Right, it doesn't matter. I want you to start working on the exercise, and then tomorrow I will supply you with a solution. I will also supply you with lesson two just after this. Okay, end of the lesson.